It's finally here. The Nintendo 3DS has finally been released to the masses and enjoyed one of the swankiest launch parties ever witnessed by human eyes. All those long months of waiting since it was officially announced at E3 last year are over, and now this life-enriching marvel of modern technology has been released into our lives. Sorry if we're getting a bit emotional, but we can't remember the last time we were this excited about something, and with good reason. But before all that though, we took our 3DS along to the Video Game BAFTA Awards last week to thrust it in the face of some celebrity gaming aficionados. The night was a pretty huge star-studded affair, and we watched as Super Mario Galaxy 2 picked up the BAFTA for best gameplay. But the big story of the evening wasn't happening on stage, oh no, it was happening backstage and on the red carpet, as we gave some of the celebrities on the night a little taste of 3DS action. Comedian and game lover Dara O'Brien presented the award ceremony, and was pretty much blown away by what he saw. Oh wow! I'm impressed, yeah, I didn't expect it to be quite as neat and tidy as that. We, this interview has to end, but I got to KO somebody. Other the PR person. Definitely one of the best dressed ladies of the night was TV presenter Jamila Jamil, who lucky for us didn't have a pocket on her dress, or she definitely would have had the console away. No way. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just as, oh, and it's like holographic. That's so exciting. I like spat at the camera, it was so exciting. Famous funny man Danny Wallace had been waiting to have a go on the 3DS ever since hearing about its awesomeness from Jonathan Ross. Here's what he had to say. Jonathan Ross um, went to Amsterdam, I believe, to host the launch and, that, and, um, and he got back that night and um, he phoned me and we talked for half an hour about the Nintendo 3DS and he was telling me every little bit about it. So I am I'm more than excited about getting my hands on one. Blue Peter presenter Barney Harwood tried swapping his Blue Peter badge for our 3DS. Unfortunately for Barney, we managed to procure a badge back in 1991 for doing a visually spectacular drawing of a duck with a dog's face. How have they, how have they managed to do that with, without wearing glasses? I mean, this is can we just you can keep filming all you like. I'm saying nothing now for the next 10 minutes. What a game! That's amazing, isn't it? Gemma Atkinson has been a gamer for years, and we were particularly impressed with her mad Street Fighter skills. Oh my gosh. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, back fist. I'm, I'm absolutely annihilating it. Oh no. That is absolutely amazing. Yep, we pretty much don't go anywhere now unless our 3DS is within easy reaching distance. And the variety of film and television celebrities who got to experience the 3DS for the first time were certainly thankful for this. The 3DS is exceptional. It's a great offering. It's a, it's a vastly upgraded platform. What I'm keen to point out is that in my experience of Street Fighter and Pilot Wings, the 3D genuinely adds a tactical game orientated uh, element to the gameplay. So it improves the gameplay in its own right, it's not just bells and whistles. So Pilot Wings, you know, you want to see where you're going to get through the, the, the targets. Um, Street, Street Fighter, okay, it, it just looks damn cool. The 3DS is out now and you can check out the incredible 3D without glasses effects for yourself. Next week, we'll be bringing you exclusive footage from the 3DS Midnight Event, as well as the Celebrity Launch Party. It's all right here next week on Nintendo TV.